It's not only the Samsung that's stoking the fires of Tech January with the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the rest of the series, OnePlus is also bringing a ton of heat with its brand new non-foldable flagship, the OnePlus 12. And seemingly, the OnePlus 12 is shaping up to be rather serious competition to both the Galaxy S24 Ultra and just about any contemporary flagship out there. With cutting-edge hardware, lovely design and the signature OnePlus attention to detail, it's phone that truly really embodies the never settle mantra, which has been around for a decade already. Where did all the time go? We don't know, but if all of OnePlus upcoming devices are so good as the OnePlus 12, we will have fewer and fewer bones to pick. Could it be that the OnePlus 12 might be one of the no-flaw phones of 2024? Surely the potential is there and historically speaking, OnePlus isn't a company to take a mistake. So let's find out. These improvements have come at a cost an extra 100 bucks or 799 US dollar versus 699 US dollar for the OnePlus 11. But that's still on the low side for a high-end phone in 2024, especially one with a huge 6.8 inch display. It all makes the OnePlus 12 a more compelling package than its predecessor. It's a phone worthy of a Pro or Plus title that costs a few hundred bucks less. None of these features are the kinds of new, groundbreaking tech you will see in Samsung or Google Ads for their new phones. But at this stage, AI on the mobile devices hasn't exactly proven itself to be indispensable. Sure, a Galaxy or Pixel phone holds some additional appeal beyond AI if you are entrenched in their ecosystem or if you are hooked on a Galaxy Watch or the Pixel Recorder app. It's also possible that those flashy new AI features will come with an extra cost somewhere down the line. If you are not already devoted to another Android ecosystem, you want to sit out this hype cycle or you just want a phone that does phone things well, then the OnePlus 12 might just be the one. OnePlus 12 comes with the classic red box which is fortunately full of the usual goodies we have come to expect from OnePlus. OnePlus 12 with a pre-applied screen protector, fast charging brick 80 watt, type A to type C charging cable, protective case, SIM tray ejector, OnePlus red cable, club cards, booklets and manuals, and logo stickers. What do the full OnePlus 12 specs tells us? To sum it up, the OnePlus 12 is a rather potent powerhouse that surely delivers on the hardware front. The highlight here is the super bright Pro XDR OLED display at the front, which puts the OnePlus 12 alongside all the top flagships. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 ensures that the phone will perform top notch. From the get-go, the OnePlus 12 isn't much different from the OnePlus 11. The signature persisting OnePlus design language is still present, just evolving in the right direction. We have the flowy emerald variant of the OnePlus 12 on us and it's surely one to be behold. Inspired by nature, this particular color version of the OnePlus 12 has a very distinct satin texture with a fluid-like design that evokes dynamics. Tilt the phone slightly, however, and the mellow green hue transforms into a faint turquoise. Though it appears so, the fluid-like visual patterns lacks a distinctive texture. You can feel the consistent, silky surface on the back panel by running your fingertips over it, and that's about it. I have to admit, albeit nice, the rear texture makes for one rather slippery phone, as the lack of glossy surface prevents the phone from sticking to your palm. A case is certainly a necessity here. The OnePlus 12's weight and dimensions have increased, but its ergonomics haven't surfaced at all. Due to the lack of flat edges and sides that dig into your palm, the carved back elevates the comfort. What's more, you are left with the impression of handling a much smaller phone. Overall, handling this one is a joy. The OnePlus 12 differs from the dominant majority of former OnePlus flagships when it comes to button placement. The volume rocker on the new phone is located on the right side, directly above the power button, where it is more ergonomic and is supposedly easier to reach. OnePlus trademark ring switch is located on the left side. Devoted OnePlus supporters will need to adjust to this change, but I can't imagine it would take long to get up to terms.
The OnePlus 12 is the first flagship phone from OnePlus to include an IR Bluster. IR Blusters are often seen on Oppo and Xiaomi phones and in all honesty having a sensor of this kind has its practical advantages. Yet, it's certainly a surprising addition to the OnePlus 12's features list. Thanks to this addition to the phone, users can control various IR home appliances without having to resort to dedicated apps. The OnePlus 12 comes with IP65 water and dust resistance capable of withstanding low pressure water jets from any direction. Not as good as IP68, so dunking and prolonged contact with the water based be avoided. Interesting here is OnePlus self developed Aqua Touch Tech, which allows for an uninterrupted touch experiences when the screen is wet or damp. The display is seemingly one of the areas in which OnePlus has pushed the boundaries quite a lot. The OLED display upfront has grown slightly to 6.8 inch across in comparison with the OnePlus 11 but it is still slightly curved to the sides which goes against the current industry trend of using fully flat screens. As with most previous OnePlus flagships, it is an LTP1 which allows it to dynamically switch the refresh rate between 1 and 120Hz for a smooth and rewarding scrolling experience. But what truly really makes the OnePlus 12 such an integrating device is its exceptional brightness. OnePlus advertises a 4500 nit peak brightness but you will most certainly not be able to achieve it. Then again, such a high brightness measurement is entirely plausible. In reality, we measured a maximum display brightness of 1120 nits with the screen showing a fully white image. On the other hand, the minimum brightness of just 1.8 nits makes for an expensive brightness amplitude. The color temperature of 6464 kelvins also means that by default the OnePlus 12 screen is quite accurate. The display is protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 2, but in line with the long-standing OnePlus tradition, the OnePlus 12 also comes with a basic TPU screen protector pre-applied. Aside from the brightness, the OnePlus 12 seemingly has very high color accuracy. There is also a 2160Hz PWM dimming for a nearly flicker-free display experience that shouldn't strain your eyes. There is also BOE single pixel calibrating technology which makes sure that each display sub pixel gets calibrated independently for a more accurate image. The ultrasonic fingerprint scanner embedded into the display is fast and accurate, unlocking the phone instantly and rarely requiring a secondary scan. An even faster but certainly less secure face unlock solution is also on board. The OnePlus 12 comes with a brand new 50 megapixel main camera powered by one of Sony's new camera sensors, the Light 808, of the same sensor family as the Light T808 that powered the OnePlus Open's main camera and delivered lovely image quality and overall camera performance. Both these sensors are Sony's latest. However, the OnePlus 12's Light 808 sensor is not stacked. So, technically, the OnePlus Open remains the better equipped OnePlus phone. The main camera of the OnePlus 12 is also a bit wider at 23mm and comes with a faster f1.6 aperture 2, which suggests very good low light camera performance. Aside from hardware improvements, OnePlus has also thrown in a number of software and image processing improvements. A brand new HDR algorithm promises much better image processing when shooting in scenes with extreme lighting. OnePlus says its HDR processing is AI powered, so the phone understands what it sees and applies just the necessary edits to achieve a more natural look. OnePlus has also slightly boosted the megapixel count of the ultra-wide camera from 48 to 50 megapixel, but this doesn't deliver any major improvements in terms of image quality. The OnePlus 12's ultra-wide angle camera is slightly narrower than the OnePlus 11's 114 versus 115 degrees, so you can fit marginally less in the frame on the newer phone. Autofocusing works from just 3.5 cm or an inch and a half so macro shots could be taken from up close. Finally and most importantly a telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom is finally coming back on OnePlus flagships.
After debating on the OnePlus 7 Pro years ago, the telephoto camera fell out of favor resulting in a OnePlus 11 with a measly 2x telephoto. While not as impressive as the 5x periscope on most flagship phones these days like the iPhone 15 Pro Max, Galaxy S24 Ultra and Pixel 8 Pro. Here are some camera samples and camera comparison, so check them out. There you have it, the OnePlus 12 is a phone that delivers on mostly all the important fronts. A very capable camera, superb performance and exceptional battery life as well as charging speeds are the recurring theme with this no-nonsense flagship that caters not only to the core OnePlus fanbase but also to just about anyone willing to upgrade or even switch to a rather competitive Android phone in early 2024. It's not all great too, while 4 years of major OS upgrades is pretty good, the competition is quickly upping the ante, offering up to 7 years of both major OS upgrades and security patches leaving the OnePlus 12 behind. On another note, while great, OnePlus plays things pretty safe and somewhat reluctant to experiment. Sure, the OnePlus 12 is one beautiful device, but it is as formulaic as they come. At least some variety in terms of the colors could have been nice, as you get this phone in two colors only and of those isn't even available for the 12GB or 256GB starter version. 
What is more, it would have been nice to see OnePlus answer to the iPhones, Galaxies and Pixels with a longer telephoto that matches the 5x zoom they deliver. Don't get us wrong, the telephoto on the OnePlus 12 is very decent but matching the competition would have been extra neat. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.